Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be looking again when Jesus was 12 at that account. And we touched on a, a verse yesterday about the Lord growing. Today's hymn is the hymn, I Will Not Forget Thee. Sweet is the promise, I will not forget thee. Nothing can molest or turn my soul away. E'en though the night be dark within the valley, just beyond this shining and eternal day, I will not forget, will not thee, forget will thee, thee or leave thee. In my hands I'll hold thee, in my arms I'll fold thee. I will not forget, will not forget thee or leave thee. I am thy Redeemer, I will care for thee. Beautiful hymn. Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart. And that idea is repeated elsewhere. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. There's another verse that I don't believe we did touch on. We may have read it. It's verse 39 and 40. This was before he was 12. When they'd performed all the things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. So that's where he comes to Nazareth. But just the as the child grew and became strong, became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. Back to our original passage. Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Wisdom. We know what James chapter 1 says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. I always try to connect that passage with later in James chapter 1, where it speaks about receiving with meekness the implanted word. I said yesterday, don't ask me to explain, <laughs> to explain the idea of the pre-incarnate Jesus becoming the carnate Jesus, the word becoming flesh, and he empties himself. And now he's growing in wisdom. I don't know how to explain it other than to simply read the passage. And at some point it does, it does say what it says. He grew in wisdom. He increased in wisdom and stature. He's growing up. And he's increasing in wisdom. As we looked at yesterday, when his parents forgot him, and I could have used this same hymn yesterday, um, as far as I will not forget thee, regardless. Here, the Father is with him. He's growing in favor with God. But a part of this is he's increasing in wisdom. We need wisdom. Proverbs. Needless to say, it's all about wisdom. Wisdom cries out. How long, you simple ones. Turn in here. The Lord is increasing in wisdom. It is in short supply. That's a strange... Maybe I shouldn't say that. It's in short... I'm having to edit as I go along. The wisdom of the world is foolishness with God. So how much wisdom is really in the world? I was about to say it's in short supply. Actually, it's in no supply. Namely, the wisdom of the world is foolishness with God. So it's in no supply, but at the same time, it is in plentiful supply with God. He who lacks wisdom, let him ask, and God gives liberally. If we will turn to him and learn, if we will be about our father's business. Second point, he grew in favor with God. We know what's going to be said at his baptism elsewhere. 
That's going to be much later. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. He's growing in favor with God. God is pleased with God is pleased with what is happening. He's pleased with what Jesus is doing. And even as Jesus is subject to Mary and Joseph, he's growing in favor with God. God is well pleased. That's the whole point of when Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. God was pleased with the decision Abraham made and what Abraham was doing. Excuse me. And we could say the same thing here. He's growing in favor with God. How could the Son of God be growing in favor with God? It's like, oh, well, you would. It says what it says. He's growing in favor with God. God is well pleased with what is happening. Not, not only is Jesus growing in favor with God, from a young age, he's growing in favor with men. There's a proverb that talks about even a child is known by his deeds, whether they're good or evil. The Lord, Jesus, from an early age, he's growing in favor with man. Speaks to matters of reputation. He's doing what's right, and even those around him are recognizing this is good. He's growing in favor, not just with God, but, but man. He is a good, he's a good young fellow here. He's engaged about his father's business, and he comes home and he's subject to his parents. Other siblings would have been born. We don't have all the details of everything that he did, but we have enough, and we see the effect that it's having on others. So he grows in wisdom. He's increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. And remember our hymn, I will not forget thee. The Lord was with him as all this is happening. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.